Hi folks. Here I am. I'm out in the woods. Well, I'm out in what used to be the woods. Now I know there's going to be a lot of folks. Well, I don't know that there'll be a lot of folks, but there are going to be some folks that probably don't like this video. And this old man, he don't care. He don't care. And all you folks that do like this video, bravo, bravo. I'm out here in the middle of a national forest. I'm not going to tell you where I am. I'm not going to... I'm not going to identify this location. But I want to show you something. One thing is... Well, I'll move over here. On the edge of the screen, you can probably see it. There's a big stack of birch here. Big stack of birch. Yarded up. Waiting for the logging truck to come and load it up. Where I'm standing on the edge of about a 60 to 80 acre parcel that was select cutted. Now there may be some pauses in this video because there's been a lot of ATVs running around here back and forth. We're right in the middle of bow hunting season for whitetail, deer, and bear hunting seasons in full swing. And so there's a lot of traffic right out in the forest right now. But, so they've taken 60 to 80 acres and select cut this 60 to 80 acres. They thinned it out. They brought the loggers in here right here. I don't know if it can be made out on the camera. The skitter trail. And they run up in the woods, these skitter trails. The Forest Service came in here and they marked a bunch of trees to keep. Anything marked stays, everything else goes. Whoever took this contract, I got a bear hunter down the road there with a dog. Hopefully his dog will stay with him. But whoever took this contract, obviously was told, just get it all down. Just get it all down. And then just clean up all the slash, all the debris on the ground, and pile it. and take any marketable timber out. Well, what I'm looking at is, an, in my mind, is an absolute shame. I walked through this today. Oh, it looks nice when you don't see these slash piles. We've got one, two, three, four, five slash piles, okay? These are not slash piles. Most of it are complete trees. I see maple, I see oak. I only saw one stick of birch in this pile and one stick of birch in that pile. Where's the birch? I pointed it out to you. It's yarded over here. They harvested the birch out of all their cutting and they left all the rest of it in slash piles. Now what do they do with these slash piles? They're gonna burn them. They're gonna burn them. They'll probably burn them in the spring. They may even burn them yet this fall. It's hard to say. But they're going to burn them. 
there's enough and this is marketable timber. I'm going to turn the camera and you're going to see these piles. You're going to see logs that are this big around, 18 inches. You'll see the butt ends of them. Anywhere from 8 inches to 24 inches is what you're finding in these piles. All of that timber could have gone to a mill. All of that all of this hardwood, oak, and maple could be processed into firewood for crying out loud. Each one of these houses, or each one of these piles, would easily provide a full winter's heat for three homes. So, when you have five of these, that's 15 homes that could have been heated for a full winter minimum, I'm talking the minimum, off of all these slash piles that are going to be just wasted and burnt. You think this old man's a little angry? And you know why this is done? You know why they do operations like this? You can't, don't blame the loggers. Do not blame the loggers. This is called forest management. Now I'm going to have people that say, oh Stai, you don't know why they do that. It is forest management. That's what they do and they protect our forest. But bull, that's bull. That's poor forest management. Clearing this out, thinning this out is not a bad idea. Sending all, all this timber up in smoke and wasting it is a shame. It's a stinking shame. Yeah, this is a, you could call this a rant video, but I don't mean it to be a rant. I mean it to be educational so people know that this is the easy way out. They wanted to manage the um, forest, so they, they select cutted this site, opened it all up. It makes for nice habitat for all the critters. All the timber that was left is going to mature quickly. But you know why they really did it? Because all the timber they left here, it's all hardwoods. There's no birch left in here at all. Not a one, not a single birch tree standing in here. All they left. I looked through it, and all they left was two or three pine trees over 80 acres. All the rest are oaks. Now these oaks are going to grow real well now that they're not competing with all the maples and all the smaller oaks and the birch. These are going to grow really well. In 10 years, that's a gold mine. They'll sell that stand of timber and have it logged and this will be a clear cut. It's coming. Anybody out there wants to tell me different, they can kiss old sty right where they, right where I want them to. Try to tell me different, and you're wasting your wind. I've been around the block too many times. I know how this works. I used to take these contracts, but I took every bit of that timber out. I hauled all that timber out. I talked to a fella, local logger, asked him about this site. He said, no, Stey, you're right. He says, you can go in there with your chainsaw and cut some of that wood up, but you better get busy because we don't know when they're going to come in and burn it. So, as an individual, I can come in here and cut that wood and haul it out a pick up load at a time, but I can't cut it and sell it to somebody. And if I cut enough for one household, I'm only going to cut maybe a third of one of these piles for a for a year's worth of wood. 
And where, the world, where in the world would I get the time to cut any more than that? So it's a waste. Because no, you'll get a couple of folks in here gonna cut some firewood. They'll probably cut wood for their local cabins they have out here in the woods. But nobody knows about this unless you come out here and you come across it. This is a remote road, very remote road. Unless you see it, you don't know it's here. They sure aren't going to advertise it. They're not going to say, come on, citizens. We got all this wood you can have. Come out here and cut it up. Heat your house with it. Use it for camp wood. No, they'll just burn it. So that's a shame. Now, before I shut this down, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over so you can, because this picture, what you're seeing, doesn't give this justice. I'm going to go over to that pile, and I hope you can see it, but there's a log with a big hole in it. It's a hollow log. I'm going to go stand by that to give you some scale as to the size of this thing. And I'm going to turn the camera so you can see the length of it. In actuality, this this pile, I could easily get enough wood out of that to heat four to five homes just out of that pile. This pile's about only two thirds the size. That one, again, two thirds the size. Then there's another one down there that's just as big as this one. But I'm walking over there and gonna give you some scale on it. So you can see how big that pile truly is. Okay, let me turn the camera a bit. There we go. I'm going to walk over there and I'm going to give you a good look at the scale of this pile. Hopefully, that gave you a good perspective of how big that pile is. And like I said, each one of these piles, if you took the marketable, usable timber out of it, you would eliminate 80% of what's in these piles. 20% of that is the tops of the trees. It's just small, tiny wood. 80% of it is marketable as timber or as pulp. and or firewood. And here it is. It's just going to go to waste. Now what is waste? Waste is a shame. This is an insult to the intelligence of any outdoors person. 
anybody that believes in protecting nature and taking care of the earth along with ourselves, we can live in harmony with the earth and still have all the comforts. But when we waste like this, do we really deserve all those comforts? We turn a blind eye to this because they don't want us to see it. They figure this is way off the beaten path and so little of the public ever sees this. So, it makes big money. Makes big money for the Forest Service. Makes big money for the logging industry. Keeps the loggers happy. I, and it, like I said, I do not blame the loggers. I don't blame them. They gotta put food on their tables. I never blame the logger. The loggers did what they were hired to do. It was the bureaucrats that came up with this better idea and these so-called professional ecologists, they know what it, they know what the natural state should be. And it should be man coming in here and destroying and wasting. So don't try to sell it to this old boy that this is a good thing that they're doing, because it's not. I walked through there. When I walked up to that pile and back, saw the same thing I did when I walked this whole 80 acres today. My ankle's getting a good workout. My, I got a bum ankle and it's getting a good workout today. That ground is just covered. You get up there from these piles back and the ground is just covered with acorns. Not gonna be so covered next year at this time. They took out 90% of the oaks they took out of here. And all the oaks they left standing, they're all nice, tall, straight buggers with small crowns on them because they want the timber 10 years from now. They could care less about those acorns. They could care less that this is prime deer feeding grounds in here because of all the oaks. They've taken that away from the deer because a year from now, the acorn harvest is gonna be a fraction. It'll be 10% of what there is there this year. So it all adds up to, it ain't no good. Sty came out here to enjoy the outdoors today and I've been enjoying every bit of it except for this. You want to shed a tear for something or someone? Shed a tear for this forest. Shed a tear for the deer and the squirrels and all the wildlife that depended on this stand of timber that now are going to be deprived when 10 years from now, they're gonna get a great market price for these oaks. But right now, all this marketable timber, maple and oak, that's gonna be just wasted, they're not gonna make a dime off of it because they'll throw this money away for that future money. It ain't right. It just ain't right. So with that, I'm wrapping this up. I gotta get down the road to a happier piece of ground. So I'm glad that, that you stuck it out. If you got this far in the video, the topic was interesting enough for you. Or maybe you're so upset that Sty took that kind of position. Doesn't matter. You won't change my mind. You won't change my mind. Like I said, I used to work in the logging industry you're not gonna you're not gonna tell me what I already know so 
for those of you that stuck it out with good intention. Hey, Sty loves you all. He loves the outdoors. Get out there, enjoy the outdoors, and explore and watch for things like this. And when you see things like this, it doesn't hurt. Drop a letter to your senators or your congressmen and say, I really don't like what you people do, the federal government, to my forests. I wish you'd do it a little more responsible. I understand you have a job to do, but do it well. Just don't go out there and just do it. Okay? And until the next one, guys, all of you, all of you, make sure to have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.